All right. This is going to be maybe an hour long stream, maybe a little bit longer. Don't really know. Uh, maybe end it with some triple triad, but end all it. Yeah, let's wait one minute. And now we can start. Hey, you're, you know. So, does that mean you're a seed? I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Seed is here. Yes. <laughs> Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. So glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh, so you were the, you were looking for the headmaster at the party? You know, Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Sid would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Um, Squaw, is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a C. Oh. Oh yeah, my name's Renoa, bitch. Very pleased to meet you, Squaw. C members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. It may be missions requiring this sort of a subterfuge. It's expected of Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. That's too bad. Puppy! <laughs> Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. some important work to do now. Be good, Angela. Okay, I'll meet you there. This is Zell, and Selfie. Hi everyone. This way. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance to forest owls will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to temper. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vincer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vincer Delling is a scoundrel. He is a dictator, not a person, not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Wow, man, our boss. Our plan is to blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Uh, not quite. 
So get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Their link should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get to, once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in the seven steps. <clears throat> One, sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with our sensors, sir. With the sensors. A high-tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Dailing hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps him away from his car. It's kind of like that guy from, uh, Better Call Saul. Uncouple the first escort car, we'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have to dummy car in our base move in. At that point, the train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Dayling. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point, and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? Are you sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should only take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake proceeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay, let's talk about how to avoid the sensors in the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensors and move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying the sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in the red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he is checking the sensors, so be careful. The range of these sensors is equal to the length of the one, one, one window. So keep an, an eye on the window below, sir. So, exactly how do you avoid them? Um, basically, run or stop depending on which guard is below you. Stop if there is a blue guard below you. Run if there is a red guard below you. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question. How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And then we have the codes. Rhinoa has them, sir. Oh, and we have them. It's Jesus. And I'll be in charge of relaying, relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 and 4 and has 4 digits. 2, 3, 4, 1 is an example. But the D-pad won't have numbers. Instead, it'll have 4 buttons, X, triangle, O, square. For instance, if the relay code is 312, three, you'll press square, circle, X, triangle in that order. You'll have to be quick and precise, you'll have about 5 seconds to enter each code, otherwise the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have 5 minutes to do everything, so make sure that you've prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter 3 codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. Two, three, I, I didn't see what four two two three four two two three three two two one three two two one two one 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 two. You got it. Isn't in the real thing. There's a strict time limit leading down to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that's all.
By the way, the model's nice, but the person's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Renoa made it, that's why. We brought everything else at the gift, gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred toward that, towards Sterling. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Uh, yeah, I understand. Let's decide on the party. Yeah, drink. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch, my stomach. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to lots when you're ready. The sooner the better. Oh, wait. bad mood right now. If there's something in particular, I order you to leave immediately. That coming looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's fake. Right, I gotta re-equip shit because... Where is that? Yeah, okay. Vitality does. Seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look see. It's a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you, sir. Are you ready, sir? Uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna fuck this up. It's gonna be funny as ever. Squall, over here. We'll catch up to the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now on, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try to use every second. Squall, over here. This is the president's car. After we get across, we'll proceed on the with the person got blown. Uh -huh. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to serve me with this meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I gonna propose her now? I'm gonna have to put it off again. This is the first escort. We're gonna uncouple this first. Like Pot said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the cards. <clears throat> Let us know early if you see them coming. Alright, I'll go watch the blue guard. I'll take red. The red guard is closer. So while you might want to keep on keep an eye on him too, hold down L1 to look to your left and release it to look back. Okay, are you ready to enter the codes? Yeah, I remember. Okay, fuck it up. You have to enter three codes so you save the circuit for this uncomfortable. Okay, squall, get the cable ready. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down to go down. Come back up, press up. Won't be able to come up while you're entering the codes, so be careful. Okay, let's do it. We have four minutes left. Good luck, squall. One, three, four, four, four. One, three, four, four. Oh, uh, what? Two, four, four. Two, four, four. God, what is this? Is there something wrong with my buttons? Oh, no. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Ah. Uh, oh, my God. Seriously? Seriously? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? There's something wrong with my controller. I was pressing the shit out of those buttons. That's fucking hilarious. I'm gonna just speed through all that bullshit now. Three one four two. Three one four two. Two one two two. One two three. Okay, I see it. I understand what happened. Two, three, two, three. 
like a delay on the button press, I guess. <clears throat> He's not gonna like it, but it's my job. S sir, everything's in order, sir. Huh. He's not angry. Phew. That's so sh that's strange. Oh, he's reading a paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. Sir s sir, I I sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You don't just stand there. Get back to the station. Damn it. S sir, yes sir. There goes another paycheck. It's two in one day. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring? I know I've got no more candlelight dinner. I'm never going to be able to get married. Keep on in injecting words. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead working on uncoupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side through this whole down hill part one. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I know. Left owner five codes to disable the circuit for this connect connection. Are you ready, Squall? We have four minutes left. One, two, four, two. One, two, four, two. One, two, four, three. One, two, four, three. Go up, go up. Can only do two at a time. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two. One, one, three, two. Damn it! Two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Go up, 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 go up. Squall, this way. Finally, we've waited so long for this encounter with Fenzer. Was that perfect, sir? Amazing, sir. You're the best, sir. Love him. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. Ow! Oh, oh, you three. Tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations. I'm sure. Better make sure my GF's equipped. Oh, yeah, everything's good. Well, I'm gonna double check. Yep.
President Daling. As long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? What's wrong? Boo hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistant group, groups in Timber. We pass along a little information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Amateurs? Aha, my butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady. Ah, uh, so what did you have in store for when I, for me when I had resisted? Why don't you tell me? I really need glasses. Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Alright, I'm gonna be drawing some magic from this fucker, so I'm gonna turn on the you know, speedy boost bullshit. An infinite fucking life. You fell for it. Oh, oh, right, I forgot. Turn all that off for a second. Gotta wait for him to Amusing. This is amusing. Oh, that was too early. Okay. Pretty cool looking. I'm gonna be drawing some magic here for a minute. It's gonna take like two, three minutes, so that's gonna suck, but it's a good idea to get this shit. So I'm gonna be getting a uh, lion heart in this one here. Uh, gotta get the Adamantine or whatever from either card modern or uh, Minotaur card or from fighting and leveling up to be able to get it from a level 30 uh, Adamantos. And then I gotta just get the uh, Fangs or whatever from Brindle, I think it is. I think it is. I already have the ammo or whatever I need. Oh. I don't have... I thought I had a guy with fucking... Uh, items. It took me a minute to realize I could do that. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Get a couple more on there. And then I'll attack. Let me play things in the goddamn person thing instead. Here I go. Instant kill. Later, Gator. Oh, I thought it would be an instant kill. There we go. Good enough. Oh no, I forgot to turn off. Oh. I feel like a cheater now. Damn it. I can't believe the precedent was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's gonna going to the TV station. Security super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in Timber? We can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalek communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Dalit has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcast over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So, what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to reach them without cable. I know that. <clears throat> what I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? To Everybody, love and peace. That's the stampede. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timbers Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. <clears throat> That's so blurry. Can you guys give us a minute? <laughs> Can we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? They call that a strategy meeting? Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our dragon? Oh, sure. What's it say? Alum Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B, except that that's the hiring party. Seed, hereafter report, referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under this provision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, this one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Sid is such a nice man. 
What does it say this time? To the forest owls. This seed deployment contract will last until Temper achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand this, is, this contract is an exception, and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Bound Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Kung Tai. Until Temper's independence? That's so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ow, ouch! My stomach. So, of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station will be... For sure. I ain't reading that. <laughs> it's TV's TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'll save somewhere else. Best of luck, sir. I'll be keeping watch here. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information? He was asking about the president's dead. I found it strange that a cadet kept asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balan. We'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to anybody and... <sighs> These are citizens. We can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president. Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but it also to his Galvadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Please, you hear me out to the very end. Stop at the pet store and then Timber Maniacs. Gotta get four magazines stolen. Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. Whoa. What? Come on. Oh, no, I pressed the best too soon. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel is not available either. Should you need to recover, use owls to you, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't leave me, sir! Good supper. Yeah, I can't remember me in a couple of weeks or something. Let's move on now. How's Tinder been treating you? Aww. Anything to draw? No. Hmm. 
just murdered a guy in the street. That's so fucking helpful. Holy shit. Ugh, later, guy. Okay. Looks like the trains, trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running in a lot of hustle and bustle. Can't say this out loud, you better a bunch of breath breathless when my baby is staying near it. I understand. Thanks, Mr. DeMarco. Oh, Renella, how long have you known me? Have we known each other? Call me Francesca. I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. Hmm. Better keep your eyes peeled. You let our one resistance member in here. You can't see. You dear kids are, well, dead meat. Gotcha. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. text. Shoot a lady. Leave the lights, I guess. <laughs> card later. later. Girl next door. I gotta give that to Zone, I think it is, or Watts, and I can play him for a uh, Shiba card. Oh man, why did Battle Series books sell us so well? I'm sure living in a terrible age. 
Come out. Huh? Mm. Why not? Recently I had a strange dream that I became a Galbadian soldier named Laguna. Actually, it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends had a similar experience too. Yeah, dreams are really strange. I, this morning I dreamt that. Oh. Why did I bring this up? <laughs> Asking the same question, my guy. Now he won't shut up about his dreams. This morning's dream, yesterday's dreams, childhood dreams. Big mistake. Hey guys. A word of advice, you're still too you're still young. Don't let your life pass you by. Alright. Too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bumpkin, you sure had some good stuff. Yo, better ease off a little. These temper picks hate us enough as it is. Let's get them. I've had enough of this city. I came from Dala to have a good time. Now, trains are no longer running. Can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official. Harassed by Galbadian soldiers. Had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah, yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to ca kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. There's Galbadian soldiers all over the place, all because of them. They don't understand I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions. Stupid, boneheaded, good for nothing resistance. You can kiss my. Hey! You don't understand anything. The Resistance is fighting for Temper's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. <laughs> Talk to them. We need to get through. Jeez, and now I'm getting dissed by some punk? Owner, give me another drink. Is this your card? <laughs> you fucking magician. Huh? It is! Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous. But you can keep that card. And also, this one. I move out of the way now. Hey, owner. I can't stand up. Can you help me? That guy is over surfing. Uh, oh, I feel sick. Ink. I dwanks too much. I feel bad about reading that line. Holy shit.
hate these stairs. <clears throat> Whoa, an outdoor TV. This is creepy. What is it? This noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Oh, really? Actually, I was wondering myself. The president's in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm the place, sir. So we can't just rush in. Gotta come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? We don't stand a chance if we take them head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies, enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. You tell us to go, we go. Even if it's a losing battle. How sad. Act on my decision? That's your duty? Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. <clears throat> what did you say? You have nothing nice. If you have something to say, just say it. Ah, yeah, I'll tell you. How serious are we, really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy. On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input. Without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organization? Being too hard, man. Uh, I'm gonna go blind on this one. I don't know what I chose. I guess I didn't. Okay. You know, maybe this was all a big mistake. Thought everything would work out fine when Seed came to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired, it's not like you're one of us. Um, let's see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take them head on, right? So, you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. So serious, it hurts. Hey! Are they starting? Testing, one, two, testing, testing. Oh, to people of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. We would like to present you, to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vincent Dellen. Ladies and gentlemen, President Dellen. <laughs> Greetings, I am Vincent Dellen. Lifelong President of Galbadia, today I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of the world, have the power to end all wars. See? See? It's a peace proposal to the world. I knew it. Unfortunately, 
There are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with other nations leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this just to introduce an ambassador? The ambassador is a sorceress. A sorceress? Hey, Cypher! What's he doing? Instructor Trait? Stay back! Squall, what are we gonna do? For the last time, stay back. You're only going to provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. It's none of our business. Timber Team, are you watching? Get over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. Squad leader, Squall. I'm going to help Quistus, not Cypher. Cypher can eat a dick. You need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? That's right. He knows Renoa. Is that why he's here? I get it. You're Renoa's. Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. You stupid idiots. So, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. You're gonna take this stupid idiot, idiot back to garden, right? Shut up! No! I see. So you're all from garden. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadian army will undoubtedly crush garden. You can let go of me now. Nice going, chicken wuss. You and your stupid big mouth. Take care of this mess, instructor and Mr. Leader. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. Stay back! The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament. Shut up! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not... Stop calling me a boy! You don't want to be a boy anymore? I am not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your child. <clears throat> well, you fucking drank that Kool-Aid. Hey guys! Where's Cypher?
Move it on now. It'll be okay, right? They found our base. It's completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. Is there a safe place you can take me? This is an order from an order from your client, remember? your base is in serious trouble. Come over to my place until things settle down. I appreciate it. Thank you. What are you waiting for, Squall? Come on. This way. This is it. I'll let you know if anything changes. Till then, make yourself at home. Thanks, Chief. Chief? She's the leader of the forest out forest foxes. I want to start that. Almost everyone's a resistance member in this town. But right now, they're the only ones that are really active. Stay here for a while. Still don't get it. Why did Cypher... What did Cypher come here for? I think... He came to help us, the Forest Owls. I talked about it to him. Talked about it with... Oh my god, your eyeballs. I talked about it a lot with them. So please, don't think too badly of them. Anybody in here? What is this? I have two small children in here. Don't do anything to frighten them. Upstairs. Hurry. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. The legend goes that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength, whipping, and beauty. That beauty part sure makes it sound like a legend. God damn. <laughs> he was so angry when he found out it was only the three of you dispatched the timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Galbadian force? All they dispatch are three rookie seed members. Damn it, I'm going to Timber. I never would have guessed he was serious about it. That guy's always serious, you should know that by now. Wonder if he's alright. So tired. What's going to happen to Cypher? He may already be dead. How can you be so casual? I feel sorry for him. Feel sorry? 
cipher, but I hate to hear that. What's so funny? You're terrible. So, why do you think Cypher may already be dead? Because... The president of Galbadia and the sorceress joined forces. Cypher attacked the president. It's no surprise that Cypher may have been killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's alive. Think what you want. The reality isn't so kind. Everything doesn't work, work out the way we want it to. That's why. As long as you don't get your hopes up, you can take anything. You'll feel less pain. <clears throat> anyway, whatever wish you have is none of my business. Or me. Meanie. What's with her? Sorry. The Galbadian forces are withdrawn. Only the soldiers normally stationed here will stick around. If you're gonna leave town, now's your chance. You know how persistent those soldiers can be. Seems like everyone's tired. I wanna go home. Squall, any thoughts on where to go? We have to get out of here first. Getting out of here is only the first step. What do you mean? Garden code, article eight, line seven. 8-7. In the event of returning to the assigned garden is not possible, report to the nearest garden. Head for the nearest garden. Very good. From here, that would be Galbadia Garden. You can take the train from here and get off at a station called East Academy. From there, we would have to go through the forest to, of the station to get to Galbadia Garden. I've been there several times, we should be okay. Okay then. We'll escape from Timber and head to Galbadia Garden. The party will be... If it ain't broke. Let's go. <laughs> you be careful now. Take this with you. Should their mama. Ah, damn. That's your boy's own. I should talk to him, right? Not good. It's me, sir. It's me. Got some info, sir. Timber Station will be shut down temporarily. Mega bummer. Not necessarily. It's not completely shut down yet. The last train out of here is bound for East Academy. We're getting on that train. You're going too, right, Renoa? Yeah. What about you, Watts? No need to worry about me. I'll go gather some more info. I'll I promise I'll be back. You take care, okay? Squall, please take care of the Noah. I'm not gonna look. Yeah, don't worry. Science orders. What about you? Will you be safe here? I'll be fine, sir. I'll put up the fight of my life. I'm happy, sir. Renoa, Squall, it's me. So? Oh, that wasn't a question mark. 
You need to go to East Academy, right? There's no more tickets left. Super duper mega bomber. We'll do whatever it takes to get on that train. You won't have to do that. Okay, here. I have everyone's ticket right here. One for you. Three for you, see people. Here, I'll give them to the leader. And the last one is for me. Go on, take it. I can't take that, it's yours. Ouch. Ouch, my stomach hurts. Ouch, just get going, train's leaving. Thank you. So, we're gonna see each other again, okay? No matter what, you have to survive. We have to liberate Timber together, remember? I know, I know. Go hide in the bathroom or something. Now get going. from that cupboard, but I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Never seems worth it. Oh, go over the bridge. Go over the bridge. There we go. The train is bound for Bella, stopping at East Academy. This is the last train for today. Please hurry on board. Let me double check. Head off at East Academy and go through the forest west of the station. Galbadia Garden is located up ahead. Is that correct? Indeed. Glad we have a leader with a good memory. This train bound for East Academy will depart shortly. Wheel, open, open, open! Make it, please! Open up! Better, better have her way. Thanks. Weren't you just saying something? It's nothing important, but... Well... Or, well... We made it. I have to thank someone for that. He's into naughty magazines. I'll keep that in mind. What? What's the matter? Oh man. We should get there shortly, so we'll be alright out there. Out here. Okay, bad eyes. Okay. Just selfie next. I love trains. Okay. I'm not saying that. Uh, 
No time even to rest, really. Find my way to Dalit and do a little triple triad before uh, ending. Uh, yeah, seems to got me. That's where I'm supposed to go through. And I do believe Dalit is this way. Uh, I really should do this some other time. Maybe not during the stream, because I have to save scum. Shit, I think. Maybe I should go with the story for a little bit instead. Save right there. Come back to it sometime tomorrow off screen. And save it. Okay. Sure. I'm just going to see if I can do that thing. I can do that. a polish. And I don't think that would be very entertaining. So I will go on with the story a little bit. Dream sequence. Oh, here we come. We're not too far from Galbadia Garden now. Hey, I was just thinking. There might be some bad news from the Galbadian government. What if we get caught and then get broadcast to the whole world? Whatever happens, happens. Now, come on, let's just keep going. I, I'm worried about Balan Garden. If anything happens to Garden, it's all my fault. I'm the one who said we were all from Garden. You think the president will retaliate on Garden? Maybe. Figures. But, but we have a whole bunch of seeds at Balan Garden. They wouldn't lose the Galbadian army, would they? Depends on how strong the army is. I know, but... Oh, you're just a great leader, aren't you? You actually have fun acting so callous towards your comrade? Not again. So once your support... I knew it was going to be something like that. Any kind of encouragement would make... It's just to ease your mind. Am I the only one who thinks that? No, I'm sure it's Cypher. Don't you ever worry about or even think about the well-being of your comrades? And believe in relying on others. Don't you understand? Whatever. Are you listening, Squall? What the heck? This sensation. Me too. What's going on? I think 
And they went to the dream world. Kiros, you sure this is the place? Positive. I don't want to be a troll in the wrong place like last time. Ah, uh, sorry. This ain't the place. This is it. Let's go, Commander. I brought the wrong map. <clears throat> Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Nah, everything's cool. Hey, make sure you guys are fully equipped. Well, we are on duty. Yes, get a move on and right, let's get a move on and check things out. But seriously, this place sure is strange. What the heck is this big pile of rocks? I think these are natural rocks used for carbon tombstones? Who knows? Who cares? Speaking of strange, why have you been running around so strange? Strange? I don't mean strange. Just being cautious, that's the basic rule of the... Hey! Looks like we've got company. Death Star soldiers. Still wearing those flashy uniforms. Laguna! Don't be such a weenie. What the? just a patrol. And does it have to turn out like this? Seriously, I wasn't expecting this. Are this many? I don't know, I hit it too fast. Friendly fire there.
There's more coming. There's no end to this. Better make a run for it. the draft on my butt. <laughs> ah, yep, there's a hole in my back pocket. Can't find it. Oh no. Nothing's cheaper than something free. Nothing cheaper than something free. What? Is it something I said? Come on. Let's go. This hatch is loose. I know. If you use this, some stutter, stubborn SR fool won't be able to come after us. What the heck are you up to? Something stupid again, I bet. You guys, you're gonna regret saying that. They say one who makes fun of a genius will end up crying in the end. <laughs> so who's the... Genius? Ah, just shut up. Anyway, the le lever for this hatch is broken. So if we just loosen it a bit more, which they, what is that? When they come after us for that side and from that side. Oh my god. Yes! You guessed it. They'll walk over it without expecting a thing. Then, all of a sudden, whoops! And down I go. I have to admit, I really am a genius. Ha. <laughs> I think the S-Star soldiers are getting really gonna fall for this trap. We won't know until we try. And those who never try will never know. So, I'm gonna go do it. Closer. Just remember, if we temper, tamper with the lever, we won't be able to make it back to the other side. It'd be idiotic to fall for a run trap. So here it goes. You guys, stand back. There. Got him. This time, it's in my shirt pocket, so ha! Uh, ah, but that's shoot! Not again! Can't find it. Oh well, it's not like I'm gonna die. Go check, that's all I got. Cisco's on, switch no. Red switch first. Switch. Okay. Yep. Here we go. 
Oh, red switch first. Oh, what? Oh my god, I was not paying attention. It's holding the damn direction. Jesus, stupid. Detonator, you know I forgot to read the first part. Oh, I get it. The short blue fuse is for that boulder. And the long red fuse is for the boulder down there. Further down. Hey man, are you crazy? You don't even know how powerful that thing will be. Uh, I bet it's not all that. The detonator's right here, so as long as we stay behind it, we'll be alright. Well, I guess so. Let's see. Red switch first. The bomb blast won't reach us here. Just stay put. Ooh, what? That was awfully loud. Lucky we were here. That's what I told you before. You should always check how powerful the thing could be. <laughs> Wasn't that me who said that? Uh, um, anyway, we're all still alive, right? It's gonna blow. Run for it. Awfully quiet. I was expecting a blast of some sort. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you it wasn't all that powerful. Yeah, I don't want to drop one.
contrer. Jeez, you have to go around touching everything like a little kid, don't you? Chill out a little, will ya? Whatever, man. Thanks to me, those S-Star soldiers and that rock are history. It's like killing two pigs with one stone, and I'm just so awesome. Genius, I tell you. Pigs? Don't you mean birds? Of course. <clears throat> All right, stream's gonna be ending after the dream sequence of saving and picking up from the same spot tomorrow. So, don't tell me. Have all the worst possible predicaments. One twenty here. My throat is scratchy. We're saved. Lady Luck is on our side. We can escape to Galbadia. One would say we've been run down. That's what they normally say. Don't say that. It might come true. Can your grandmother tell you that? If you say something bad, it will come true. Yeah, I think she did. What did you say? I think... His throat was injured. He lost his voice. It. Was, uh, you. Say again? It was fun. You guys look kuna cute. Gross. It was fun. Or that's way really cool. It's not cool to say things like that. Just for that, you're getting the coochie coochie treatment. How's that, huh? One more? Well? Whoa! Check it out! A boat! We're getting on. A vessel. They normally call it. Boat, vessel, whatever. We're going back to Galbadia. You guys, you sure have guts. You know how high this cliff is? Oh shit, no way, uh
Was it Laguna again? Sir Laguna's in big trouble. I hope we'll be okay. Doesn't seem like the first time for you all. What is this? If it were just me, I could tell the others it was only a crazy dream. We'll just be wasting our try time trying to figure it out. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's go. I think we're almost there. Um, Squall? I think I've may, I may have said too much. I'm sorry. Forget about it. And there's the next stream destination. Saving. Well, uh, probably tomorrow will be the next stream, if not the next day. Uh, thanks for stopping on by. Be cool if you stopped on by next time, but you don't have to. No pressure. <laughs> um, all right, well, that's it. Good night.